Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we're going to be talking about a science fiction film called Terraformers. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. In the 21st century, humans tried to solve the problem with overpopulation by changing the atmosphere of Mars. They managed to accomplish this by growing plants and sending genetically engineered cockroaches to the neighboring planet in order to speed up the transformation. The year is 2597 in the city of Tokyo. Komachi and Nana are being chased by the police for committing the crime of murder. Dr. Honda, who works with the Japanese government, takes this opportunity and offers them a deal that they cannot refuse. He wants them to go on a mission to Mars, where they're going to eradicate the cockroaches sent there 500 years ago as part of the terraforming process. The doctor promises to alleviate them from their crimes and even grant them a large sum of money if they complete this task. Komachi refuses to sign the contract as he knows that the doctor must have an ulterior motive. Nana hesitates, but decides to go on the mission as she sees no way out. Komachi yells at the girl for being so reckless as there's no way he can allow her to go alone. The main character begrudgingly signs the contract as well. They head on to Mars two years later on the spaceship called Bugs 2 and are joined by a team of many others just like themselves. Komachi has a friendly rivalry with a man named Jin, who's always trying to beat him in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Nana questions the competence of their team members, as they're composed of criminals and terrorists. She wonders what was the selection criteria for this team, to which Jin replies that it was probably money and freedom. Their conversations are interrupted when Captain Dojima arrives and informs them to prepare the landing for Mars. They successfully touch down on the planet, and the team members are surprised to see that Mars is no longer red, but looking more like Earth. The lieutenant, Mina, launches a device into the distance, and it begins shooting out chemicals that are meant to destroy the cockroaches. The captain orders the team to spread out in groups of two, and confirm the eradication processes within three hours. The gothic-looking woman named Asuka refuses to team up with the Yakuza, and insists on going with the computer hacker Ichiro. The captain grants her wishes at the Yakuza's disapproval, as he doesn't want any unnecessary conflicts within the team. Their drone locates the spaceship called Bugs-1 that was sent here secretly by the Japanese government 10 years ago. Dojima confirms with Honda that their team is in the process of first contact, and the doctor responds with exhilaration, suggesting that he may have something else planned for the mission. Jen notices something wrong while scouting the area with Maria, as they fail to find any cockroach carcasses in the vicinity. They continue heading forwards, and Jen is shocked to see caveman-like humanoids standing in front of them. He quickly hides with his teammate to avoid any contact. At the same time, Komachi and Nana also discovered a similar creature. The main character tries to greet the humanoid, but it rushes towards them and attacks Nana right away, breaking her neck. It then runs off in blinding speed as Jin's team regroups to their location. He tells Komachi that other members have also encountered the creatures and Asuka was killed in the process. They head back to the ship and questions the captain, who apparently knew about the monsters from the very beginning, but was ordered to keep quiet by the doctor. He explains that these creatures were sent here 500 years ago, but evolved very quickly due to the abundance of radiation. The doctor appears as a hologram and explains to his team that they have nothing to worry about, as he prepared injections that can grant them superpowers derived from the insects. They'll have unique powers individually, as the injections are made to enhance their DNAs. Osako suggests that they leave Mars immediately, as it's obviously too dangerous to stay here. The terraformers begin approaching their ship, and one of their teammates, Lee, volunteers to fight the monster. He heads outside as the sandstorm approaches and injects himself with the insect's DNA. A mutation occurs rapidly inside the man's body and he transforms into an insect hybrid. His mutation is based on the ground beetle, which is capable of shooting out flames by combining chemicals in their body. Lee begins attacking the cockroach, knocking it back with a fury of kicks. The terraformer strikes back as well and they appear to be evenly matched. Lee uses the special ability and shoots an intense flame from his hands, burning the creature and pushing it backwards. To everyone's shock, Lee didn't kill the cockroach, only burning its outer shells. The monster rushes towards him and kills him with a single hit through the stomach. They see another creature on their window, and it continues to hit the glass until it breaks inside and kills two of the teammates immediately. The captain injects the DNA and begins mutating into his hybrid form. His transformation is based on the bullet ant, which allows him to lift a hundred times his own weight. Dojima smashes the cockroach to the floor and kills it easily with his immense strength. 
Before they can celebrate, the radar picks up hundreds of terraformers heading this way, and the team decides that they must leave Mars in order to survive. The lieutenant tries to start the spaceship, but strangely, the engine refuses to work, almost like it was sabotaged. With no other choice, the captain decides to be the decoy and tells everyone else to go to Box 1 and retrieve the necessary components to fix their ship. Surprisingly, Ichiro volunteers to stay behind to help the captain as well. Komachi takes a last look at Nana before he leaves and promises to return for her. Strangely, he notices a string of silk flying off from the woman's mouth. The team enters the Mars rover and Tezuka injects himself with the insect's DNA, transforming into a rove beetle capable of shooting out flame projectiles. He grabs onto the Mars rover and propels the team against the horde of terraformers by shooting flames from his mouth. Meanwhile, the captain continues to fight off the hordes of cockroaches, and Ichiro transforms into his insect form as well. He runs away from the fight and proceeds to vacuum out the oxygen in the ship in order to suffocate all the invading terraformers. The cockroaches begin to die off one by one, and Ichiro faints to the ground as well from the lack of air. At the same time, the Mars rover team sees a large wave coming towards them. It turns out to be a tsunami of terraformers, and they must charge through the enemies in order to escape. Tezuka focuses all his energy into propelling the rover, and they crash into the sea of cockroaches. Luckily, the team manages to break through and land safely on the ground. They continue forwards, but soon sees another tsunami of insects much larger than the one before. Osako and Maria decides to defend the team from the outside, and transforms into insect hybrids while heading towards the wave of terraformers. They try their best to fight off the incoming cockroaches, but the vehicle flips as they exit the horde, throwing the teammates in the air. Everyone inside the car gets knocked out, but the rover goes into autopilot and drives off. The teammates left behind tries fighting off the insects, but gets killed one by one. The rest of the team wakes up, only to find themselves at Bugs 1 already. Komachi tries looking for the other teammates, but the Yakuza thinks that they are the only survivors. They head into the spaceship, while two of them stand guard outside. Mina tries running a diagnostic on Bugs 1, only to see that it's somehow transmitting data towards Earth. The group hears gunshots from the outside and rushes towards their teammates, only to find them lying dead on the ground. Apparently, the terraformers have learned how to use weapons and kill the two standing guard with the guns from Bugs 1. Komachi injects himself with the DNA and transforms into a giant hornet with amazing battle powers. He attacks the cockroaches with devastating blows as he punches holes into their bodies. Jen's mutation turns him into a desert locust that can jump 90 stories in a single leap. He's able to decapitate numerous enemies using his kicks alone. Mina transforms into a praying mantis and slashes the insects into pieces. The team quickly overwhelms the cockroaches and destroys them with little effort. On the other side, Dr. Honda talks to one of the terraformers who's able to speak unlike the others. It goes to Bugs 2 and turns on the oxygen while pointing a gun at the captain who's lying on the floor, exhausted from the fights. Suddenly, the cockroach gets opened up from the inside and Asuka emerges from its body. It turns out that her transformation is based on the Emerald Cockroach Wasp, who has the ability to control the minds of cockroaches and wear their exoskeleton as disguise. Instead of dying from the earlier attacks, she was able to manipulate the insects into killing each other. She quickly dries her face from the sticky white liquids and proceeds to shoot the captain multiple times. Asuka pours water onto Ichiro, whose transformation is the Asian Coronamid. He can survive in almost any condition and only requires water to reactivate his cells. They turn out to be working on a secret mission for the Doctor, and Ichiro was the one who sabotaged the flight system on Bugs 2. The Doctor ordered them to bring the eggs from the terraformers back to Earth no matter the cost. Komachi and his team hears the Bugs 2 engine from afar, and the Doctor explains that their plan was never to simply exterminate the cockroaches from Mars. He plans on retrieving more genetic materials from the insects in order to make better hybrid soldiers for the Japanese government, which no doubt will make the country become a superpower. They are put on this planet mostly as test subjects, and their fight with the terraformers are recorded as valuable research data. In fact, they were only able to create the insect hybrids because Bugs 1 was able to retrieve a carcass from the cockroaches. While Ichiro and Asuka plans to take off from Mars, the eggs hatch prematurely and produces two evolved terraformers. Asuka charges in and stings them with her claws, trying to control their minds, but their evolution has granted them immunity to her powers and they proceed to kill her by punching through her stomach. 
The spaceship takes off into the air, heading for Earth, while the new terraformers call for help from their brethren. The cockroaches from the ground opens up their wings and flies towards the spaceship, causing it to stall and malfunction while guiding it back onto the planet right beside Bugs One. The evolved cockroaches surrounds the team with their armies of insects and orders them to attack. Komachi and his team transforms and fights off the enemies with everything they have. They manage to defeat many of the terraformers, but runs into trouble when facing the two evolved ones that show amazing battle powers similar to human fighters. Mina tries attacking one of them, but gets her arm ripped off and killed in an instant. Seeing his friend being destroyed like nothing, Jin injects himself with his second dose of mutation, causing the transformation to progress even further, increasing his powers. Komachi injects himself again as well, and the two continues to destroy the enemies with their heightened abilities. After killing many of the terraformers with his kicks, Jin jumps into the air and injects himself a third time, causing wings to grow from his back. The army of cockroaches flies towards him and fights him in the air, but they're no match for the human hybrid and gets destroyed into pieces. They continue to fight against the creatures waves after waves, and eventually slows down as their fatigue becomes more apparent. Jin understands that they must destroy the leaders and injects himself with multiple doses of mutations, causing his body to spike in power but also making the transformation permanent. He takes this opportunity and attacks the evolved cockroach with a devastating kick and kills him by knocking his head off. Jin falls down soon after as he exhausted all his reserves. Komachi tries to defend him against the remaining leader, but gets defeated easily and gravely wounded. Just when they're about to be finished off, the evolved cockroach notices something from behind and pulls back his attack. A glowing moth-like creature flies towards the insects while dropping sparkles of dust in the air. It turns out that Nana's body has evolved into her final form in order to aid her teammates against the terraformers. She flies towards the cockroaches and continues to drop the glowing dusts. Jin realizes that these are miniature bombs while the terraformers looks at it with intrigue and confusion. Komachi flies towards Nana, trying to save her from the battle, but Jin tells him that she's been dead a long time ago. One of the cockroaches fires at Nana, which causes a chain reaction of explosions. Jin rushes towards his friend and saves him from the explosions in the last minute, while Komachi cries, seeing the woman he loves buried inside the flames. When everything settles, Komachi wakes up and walks towards his friend, only to see that he's permanently transformed into a locust creature. He tries to comfort Jin and tells him no matter how he looks, he will always be human in the heart. With his last breath, Jin tells his friend to live on for both of them, as tears fall from his eyes. Komachi finds the evolved cockroach still alive and punches him in anger for the destruction that he caused. He plans to finish the terraformer, but eventually decides to end the hatred between men and insects by sparing his life. He goes inside the spaceship, only to find Ichiro still alive. The man points a gun at the main character, but saves him by shooting the terraformer behind instead. They decide to cooperate for now and resolve their differences once they get back on Earth. The two launches the escape pod into the atmosphere, while the evolved cockroach stops his brothers from chasing after, repaying the debt for sparing his life. Meanwhile, Dr. Honda notices that Ichiro has hacked into their system and is broadcasting the whole event on international television. He decides to hide as the government will surely kill him for his failure and embarrassment. His assistant points her gun at the doctor as she turns out to be a spy from the government. She fires at the doctor, but Honda has planned for this contingency already and proceeds to kill the woman with a deadly poison. On their way home, Ichiro swears that he'll expose the people responsible for this experiment, while Komachi has a strange feeling that they'll come back to this planet in the future. So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my video, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.